Bill, what are you going to show us today? I'm going to feed the blue fang death beetles. And what I do is I just normally pinch cricket heads and feed them dead crickets. But it's easier to put them in the freezer so they're pre, like, if I leave them out, they probably, most of them will probably come back to life. So I just take them and I pinch their head with a pair of tongs. So I don't know if you want to watch that or not, but that's what we do. And we throw them in there with the blue, blue painting death beetles. Uh, we don't, we, you can feed them like sets of pieces of like vegetable and stuff, but it raises the humidity in the, the tank there. And so it doesn't have much ventilation. So anything over 20% they can die. So humidity, so. So, I just come in here after they're froze, and so I think they're probably, um, there's probably close to maybe 30 in there, so you just pinch the heads. It's very easy. It's easier than doing it when they're alive. Um, I don't really think they can catch it. That's the thing. Um, they usually eat dead things or different um, stuff, I guess, in the wild. And mainly it's just for their nutrition and, I guess, some uh, moisture content. But they're very, they come from very dry areas. So, like I said, anything over 20%, they, they turn black if they get too humid, um, and that means that they could die if they're, if they're too humid too long. So I think there's about 30-ish out there, so I just do about one per, per beetle. Some of the crickets are bigger, so you have to do strange things for your pets sometimes. <laughs> How often should you feed your blue fanning death beetle? Um, I would just periodically feed them maybe once a week. Uh, and if they don't eat, definitely take the uh, uneaten food out and then maybe try next, the following week. But I would say try to feed them weekly. They're not, I mean, they're small. So, you know, one beetle, would probably eat maybe one or two crickets a week, possibly. But I'm gonna do a couple more and then we'll go out there. And I didn't count, so. Some of these are small, some of the beetles might eat two of these, so I think we're gonna go with that. And then, just put those on. And I just take these and I just dump them in the cage. So we will walk out there. So, they're mainly under this log, a few under that one, and then a whole bunch under there. So, I will just take a few of these, drop them in there. Over, he'll find them. Okay, they're up there. Play dead. Oh. Ain't lying. <laughs> Mountain's currently pretty. So once they find them, they just kind of like go someplace. Eat them. It's like a dog carrying a bone. 